The case I'm looking at today is one of the most complex investigations in British crime history. A series of rapes committed in and around London between 1982 and 1986, culminating in the murder of three women by John Duffy and David Mulcahy. What's very unusual about the murders and the rapes is that it was committed across different force areas by two men working together and egging each other on and instigating their crimes by saying, shall we go out hunting? Hunting for their victims of prey. I'm going to speak to Paul Dockley. He was a senior detective in Hertfordshire Police. It's really important to get an idea of the complications and complexities of an investigation such as this. This is the case of John Duffy and David Mulcahy, known as the Railway Rapist, one of the most complex, complicated cases in British crime history. On the 18th of May, 1986, a young, fresh bride, Anne Locke, went missing on her way back from work in central London to her home in Brookman Park. Paul Dockley was a senior investigating officer in Hertfordshire. I wasn't on duty, actually, on the 18th, but on the 19th, I came on duty to be briefed uh, immediately by the night shift inspector, who was still on duty, who said, we had a strange one last night. There's a, a lady gone missing. She's recently married. She works for London Weekend Television. She had been called into work unusually on a Sunday. Um, she didn't have a car, because our car was being sold. So she borrowed a bike. Uh, she lives at an address in Brookmans Park with her husband and her grandmother. And they seem to be a fairly tight unit. And um, she bought a ticket, put a bike in a cycle shed and got the train, which I think was about 3.30 in the afternoon, from memory. And off she went to London Weekend Television. You didn't know, did you, at what point from that journey she would have gone missing from? No. And yes, we surmise that that was her route home and that's the route she would have taken. What was it then for you as a detective, having been alerted by the uniformed officer, when you looked at this, what was your feeling that this was something different, it wasn't a normal kind of missing from missing home? No. Yeah. And the fact that our cycle was found actually behind the cycle shed, so it had been secreted, in my view. Immediately I was thinking, she's not going to put a bike behind there. Why would the bike be behind the bike shed? What did you have? What, what evidence did you have? Did you have any witnesses? At a time around 10 o'clock-ish, somebody in the vicinity of the ticket office heard a scream. But that's all we had. 